finished digging the ditch and the guys are putting the pump together. This pump is only going to go in the well at 80 feet. It's a little half horsepower. If you're looking for tips on how to install one, there's videos on the channel. Come over here and check this out. Now the reason why we're only setting the pump at 80 feet is because there's, this well makes like 30 gallons a minute. And there's the tag. Uh, we have casing 94 feet. So that means this pipe here goes all the way down 94 feet. So if we leave our pump inside of this pipe, there's less likelihood of sediment going to the house. So that means the filter will live an easier life and they won't have to change it as frequently. Next thing we gotta do is clean at the foundation. Now here at the foundation, like most houses, we have a French drain system and this will be where all your gutters tie to and any rainwater to help uh, draw the rain away from the foundation of the house. Luckily I didn't rip it up too bad. I got bees around me. So I got to take my shovel and I'll clean all this dirt away and then we got to take the hammer drill and drill a hole through the wall. Now I always like to use my small pilot bit first that way I know I don't find any obstructions. Make sure it goes all the way through the foundation. I believe I hit a seam. That's why we drill pilot holes. fucking tossed uh, pieces of brick down into the oh, shit. cinder block. So now I'm cutting. I'm trying to cut pieces that are loose. Yeah. I did that. I had to go through that one day. It took a while. You know, brick is harder than anything. And then it can just spin sometimes, too. It's That's like, what it was just doing. It was binding up. There's our nice, pretty hole. Just got to clean it out and put a sleeve through it. Time to drop the pump in the well. We're going to keeping it out of the mud. Heard it hit the water. Ooh, that pipe's hot. Yep. Rotated us. That was a piece of metal down there. Oh, that's what it hit. Uh-huh. It hit, it hit the transition coupling. Cool. That would be perfect. It's 21 casing. That's why. Here, check this out. I think it's been tightened up, too. All you do, you just take it and set it off to this side. Here, we got this and then we'll bend it over like this. That'll take that natural bend out of the pipe. Just leave it like that for a little bit. Okie doke. Next thing we gotta do, uh, Hudson, we're gonna put the wire on the wire spinner, set it next to the well. I'll drag it, we'll put the sleeve through it. And you, you've you already got the hole dug inside, right? Yep. Cool. I dug you like a... A big watermelon? A big, yeah, watermelon size hole. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Ooh. Where is my... Okay. You hold it. I'll pull. Dun, 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 dun. It's going to go in the hole, but we're going to pull it. 
to the distance where the tank is going to be inside which is roughly right here sleeve pipe install I took my grinder made a nice little lipped edge there so it doesn't cut the uh, cut the wire take that slip it on in How much you got showing in there? Uh, about like five inches. All right, push it back until you got about one inch showing. That's perfect. Cause I got more concrete lip out here. I got to protect it from than you need to from the inside. I'll probably take my sledgehammer and knock this lip off. All right, hold on one second, and then I'll feed you the wire. Got our wire through our sleeve. Now we're going to push our pipe through the sleeve. You see it? Yep. How far am I sticking through? Uh, you're about four inches out. How far am I from the dirt wall? About three. All right, so right there is good? Yeah. All right. Uh, back it up a little bit because there's a weird little concrete here. All right, back it up a little bit. Uh, about right there. All right, cool. We'll be good to go there. Go do them. Yeah, you work too damn much. You got enough now. Shit. That's the problem. Let Phil take over. The way you do it? Yeah, do it like this. Time to do it. I always just take the blade. Yeah, and just wherever the blade stops under the bottom of the pipe is where you get it. I spend about two and a half hours doing one. Mm hmm. That's about right. Because you start with an hour and a half of footage. You gotta rewatch it like 30 times. I only try to rewatch it like three or four.
deal. Under the house we go. Okay, so we are under the house. This is where we're gonna set our tank. Come over here to the wall. And that was our pipe that was outside. So what we gotta do now is we gotta use two Schedule 80 elbows. This one's gonna elbow it up. And then our horizontal will be over here. And then this one here is gonna go like so. All right, got it all done. Headed to the tank. We're gonna cover this hole in. Uh, we gotta go get some caulk and caulk in that sleeve and then we're gonna cover the hole up. All right, so we have got the tank all plumbed up <clears throat> and all the electrical done on it. And one thing that I noticed was that this house didn't have an existing well. It was actually tied onto the neighbor's well and there was the main feed coming in from the neighbors. Well, what that means is there's no power under here for the for our system to hook to. So I'm gonna have to go to the breaker panel on the exterior of the house, drill through the house, and run our wire in and attach it to our pressure switch. <clears throat> and while I do that, they are working on installing the filter, and then the filter is going to tee into the main water line right there. So we got the exterior panel box here. Luckily that door is there, and the tank is literally Right there you can see the light on the inside. So I'm going to take the cover off here and knock a hole out of the bottom Get the hammer drill drill a hole through it run a piece of conduit and get the wire over there to the switch So we got the cover off And I found my friend laying in the bottom here He didn't live too long Got his head and everything <laughs> Check him out. He's got his head and everything Fried his ass. Yeah he did. All right, so this will be the breaker that feeds the new well pump. The wires go down, over to the hole, go down with our flex, and went ahead and caulked the hole. I'm gonna have to take out these two panels here, go inside and check on the guys and see how they're coming. Cool. There's the filter. All we gotta do now is tie it into this main water line. Lunch break. All right, the system is complete, and all we gotta do now is turn it on. Got our water coming in, power on both sides, packs coming up, going to the filter. Got valves on both sides. It goes over here. And it tees into the main water line of the house. That was where my wire came through. We have the original shutoff valve. We're going to keep that off. We're going to come over here. We're going to turn back on their main. And go turn on the breaker. Alrighty. If you look pressure on the gauge so now we can open up our valve let the air out and we send it to the house sweet Ooh, nice and cold We're gonna let that flow for a minute. We're gonna get all that, uh, the PVC glue. It's gonna make all the water smell. 
So we're going to flush it out. See, there it goes. The filter is going to trap everything, but you're still going to get the smell of the PVC glue. Got it all covered up looking nice. Hell yeah. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed coming along with us today. That's just a typical pump system. That's my typical work day. So it's nothing new to me. It just uh, adds a little bit extra to, to film everything. But I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, if you're looking for more step-by-step -step, uh, instructional videos, please check out my channel. Find the Well Pump Q&A playlist and just scroll through all the videos. There's multiple videos on pumps and tanks and filters and pressure switches and whatnot. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> if you did want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one.